So hey, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good. How are you? How are you doing? Good. Thanks for meeting me. Yeah, sometimes when I'm nervous on a date, I'll like um, talk at the same time as the person, and then stop talking when they stop talking. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's like, I mean, sorry. Just no, no. You go. No, you, you, first. You, you you go. Okay. Um, so yeah, how's your quarantine going? Good. How about you? It's been good. I've been watching a lot of like independent filmmaking, by which I mean like watching porn. You watch uh, porn then? Um, yeah, I mostly read it. Actually, I read a lot of erotic fiction. Uh, that's cool. You don't meet a lot of men that read erotica. Porn and reading, my two favorite things. So I like to really combine them. And then I, during quarantine, I've also I've been trying to work out. I actually bought this um, pull up thing. I think it's broken because I tried using it and I wasn't able to do any pull-ups i'm gonna buy a different one anyway then I'll, I'll probably be able to do like 50 pull-ups in a row after that i think it's just the machine yeah. you know they make um assisted pull-up machines oh well i won't be getting that because i i don't think i need any assistance i i'm very i'm very strong but i'm glad i'll tell my weaker friends about that for sure can i see your uh your muscle oh um i'd rather not but okay well I, a lot of people get really intimidated so i, I try to keep them usually covered up I'm very intimidating. Is that why you talk at that volume? Yeah, exactly. I have to scale it back, actually, because if I talk to my natural volume, um, people just uh, cower in fear. Have you been on a lot of Zoom dates so far? The men on them are a little weird. I'm glad I'm not weird, you know. I'm probably the least weird person out there. At least uh, that's what my imaginary friend tells me. What's your imaginary friend's name? Mr. Snuffles. Dr. Snuffles, actually. He um, he has a doctorate now in uh, psychology. He's a good roommate in some ways, but he doesn't really contribute a lot financially. He gives me money for rent, but it's invisible, so it doesn't... I've had trouble getting anyone to accept it. Do you think that Dr. Snuffles would mind if I, like, came over? He would actually be super into that. He likes when there's people here. He likes to just uh, to wa- watch us, not in a creepy way, just um, fascinated by human behavior. Does he always watch you when you're on dates? Oh yeah, he's he's watching me right now, uh, for sure. He's in the corner. The way that your camera is angled, it looks like you don't have any arms. I totally have both of my arms. That's not like a strategic thing to hide that I'd, I don't have an arm. And I know that all my profile pictures it was cropped so that you couldn't see if I have two arms, but I, I do have two arms. I just like to reveal that like in person for the first time, whether I have both arms and whether one of them is a human arm or like a tentacle that I had crafted on um, as an experiment. Sorry, is your left arm like a tentacle? What I was saying was it's not a tentacle. I just don't like to show it at the moment. Not because I saw a documentary called My Octopus Teacher and got really inspired and really high one night and decided to craft an octopus arm. That's not why I'm not showing my arm. It's not because I wanted to be able to have like suction cups and pick things up with it. It's just uh, because I just don't feel like it right now. I don't like to talk about it unless people see it, which it isn't there. And then I can address it if it is, which is not. Is that a virtual background? It looks like you're kind of floating in like blackness. I see why it would look like that. Yeah, this is a virtual background, actually. Um, My real apartment is um, on stage at this theater. So this is my non-virtual background. I rented out a theater for $10,000 a month. I'm not really good at math, so I'm starting to think it was not a good investment. All the shows got shut down, so I figured I'll just use that as my apartment. And it's been very expensive. I'm a little worried. I've really been hemorrhaging my savings here. So if you know any places, any new apartments, just there's a, a room open in my apartment but it would probably be weird for me to offer it to you oh i don't i don't think that would be weird we could like keep dating right even if we were roommates i've seen a sitcom about that i think that can work what would you do if i like threw you down on a bed and started making love to you wow i i have no idea i've i've never been in that situation before um that's something i've dreamt about um every night for the last 12 years or so. I don't really have a point of reference, I guess. But yeah, no, I think that would be great. Yeah, I think um, with like anxious men, you've just got to like go for it, you know? Oh, interesting. I wouldn't know because I'm I'm not anxious, but I see what you're talking about. Oh yeah, you're definitely not anxious. I'm not anxious. What are you, what are you talking about? I apologize for like, uh, you know, I think I was projecting because like sometimes I'm anxious. Well, that's okay because I'm, I'm actually super confident and um, well-adjusted in terms of anxiety. So we could be a good uh, yin and yang 
uh, situation. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely way less anxious than I am. I'm not anxious. I'm not anxious, I promise. No, I, I believe you. Okay. Oh, God, thank God. Whew. I was a little worried about that for a second. What do you do for, like, work? Well, I'm kind of between jobs right now. I was living off savings, although with uh, renting out this giant theater I'm living in, I think um, that's not going to work for much longer. So I'm hoping to uh, figure something out, maybe start a company with Dr. Snuffles and um, sell the people books or something like that. It's going to be hard with Amazon and everything, but... I think, why not? Let's, uh, middle of a pandemic, let's start a bookstore, see what happens. How about you? I uh, tutor uh, art, art history. So you tutor about the two doors. Is that a historical? Yeah, that's, that's an astute pun. Anne Boleyn, got her, she had her head cut off. I'm, I'm not making, I'm very, I was sad to hear about it. She was just very socially skilled and good with people. And um, I respect that. You relate to her social skills yeah you know as someone who has probably some of the best social skills myself i i respect it when i see it so nothing turns me on as much as a man that knows how to say hello to somebody and like look in their eyes while they're doing it yeah that's like one of my main skill sets is being able to make eye contact and say hello at the same time i I i'm pretty pretty known for that that's great like it's, I think it's really hard, hard to do. You know, it is, it actually, it was hard for me for a long time. And then um, with the help of Dr. Snuffles, I learned, um, I learned how to talk to people more first imaginary than actual. So now I'm kind of the life of the party that you see here today. Can I like see like what you as the life of the party looks like? Um, I like to walk into a room and just be like, Hey, we're partying. What's up, guacamole? I brought some. Let's have a part. Maybe not guacamole during the current pandemic situation, but that's just an example, you know. So yeah, I think you're super smart and super cool. Maybe we could like get coffee sometime. Yeah, that that sounds really great. Cool, and then we can go back to your theater, and I can ravish you. Oh, okay. Um, absolutely. Yeah, that that sounds amazing. All right. Well, um, oh, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too.